A needle prick Naveen Vidge in his first year of doctor training. The next day, he had his blood tested. A couple days later, I got a phone call that sort of changed my life completely. I was told that I had hepatitis C, and I did not contract it from the patient. The type of liver infection, commonly caused by sharing needles to inject drugs, sent Vidge and his family spiraling into a journey. They arrived at this conclusion. He was born at 27 weeks and spent months in intensive neonatal care. And it was likely during that time that I had probably received either blood transfusions or had procedures done that were the source of my hep C. So for 26 years, I lived silently with the disease, had no idea, uh, and so I, I say I'm lucky that I got needle stuck to kind of find my diagnosis. Lucky because he's cared for and knows the fate of those who find out too late. I could have had something called cirrhosis where my liver had been too damaged. Um, I could have had cancer. Uh, I could have ultimately needed a liver transplant. Vidge told this New Jersey viral hepatitis elimination summit at St. Barnabas Medical Center, heavy doses of prescribed medicines cured him. He counts himself among the providers determined to eliminate hepatitis. The goal is eliminating hepatitis by 2030. Not a lofty goal, but a doable one, according to Sue Wong. She's the president-elect of the World Hepatitis Alliance. We have all the tools. We have diagnostics, we have hep B vaccines, we know how to prevent it, we have treatments for hep B that are effective to, pre to prevent cirrhosis and liver cancer, we have cures for hep C. So we can stop cirrhosis. We can actually, there's even data saying you can reverse a little bit of cirrhosis. So we can do it, but we just need to get all these tools to the right people. So that's gonna be the make it or break it. Are we able to, to fill that gap? Dr. Wong said the right practitioners were in this room. The consensus here, the effort needs straight talk strategies to stifle stigmas and collaborating clinicians with new approaches, such as requiring every newborn to get a hepatitis B dose within 24 hours of birth, and more state-federal partnerships and data collecting. Dr. Wong has hepatitis B, likely since she was a baby and largely asymptomatic. She said the U.S. had been making progress on hepatitis. Then came the drug injection opioid epidemic. And so we need to reshift our approach here and cast a much wider net in terms of who we're screening and who we're considering is at risk. Dr. Wong said the government's about to recommend everyone 18 and older get tested for hep C. And right now, there are big gaps in adult screening and vaccination, leading to a rise in liver cancer in the U.S. Michael Hill, NJTV News.